He puts it up what he says, it's amazing, and he also really likes his quarterback. Take a look. Are we Are going you? to the playoffs? Uh, yeah, why not? Are we? Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand that I would freak out? I would lose them. But of course you came in. Of course you came in and you turned this team's luck around, DJ. Of course you did. <laughs> Had to do something. <laughs> Had to do something. I know. Like they have, Yeah. Haven't made noise there in a very long time, but here you are. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm really great. I know, I know you're doing well because you're coming off a huge 28 to 13 win against the first place Lions, which we love. Um, no. What I don't love, what I don't love is that I heard a little something, something about an ankle, ankle schminkle. What's happening? Oh, not much. You know, just a little caution error, you know, uh, happened on Sunday and then just working back through it. OK, so we're not worried about this week against the rounds. Are you going to be out there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. See, that's <laughs> And it, listen, I got a Packer fan producer over here who's like rolling his eyes, but we'll take care of you in week 18, Eric. We'll yeah, we see him week 18. So. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what do you got in store for week 18? You know, the I don't think the first matchup went how you wanted it to go. What do you got in store for that finale that's going to have some playoff implications for sure? Uh, we're going to take it week by week, but we're going to have something special for them. Here's the thing. like It's not like you're, you're, you haven't been a bear for a long time. So yeah. what what is they, it about that rivalry that you already are so juiced up, I can tell? Uh. One, because it was trash talking, and then two, they beat us at home, so now we want to beat them at their house. Who's who's trash talking? You can tell me. Just the whole team. Really? They always talk. Yeah, they were always talking, so it was. That's kind of how it should be, though, DJ. That's kind of fun. Mm. Now y'all are catching fire. It's okay. Go do your thing. I will. I love that. Some people don't have confidence in the Bears, DJ. Why do you? Why do I? Because I see all the work that we put in every day and uh, how how much we want to rise, you know, from the first four weeks till now, it's just been a flip of the coin and we've been on heads ever since. That's right. One game back. Yeah. And they better watch out. I love hearing that. Listen, there isn't you in the run game more. Are you a fan of that? Uh... I'm half and half, you know. I, I like being used on gadget stuff, but... uh. The media here was like, yeah, you uh, want to play running back? I'm like, no, I don't want to play running back. Uh, I want you to play quarterback. Listen to me, DJ. That fake to fields, that was smooth. You're lined up a quarterback. Are we going to see you throw one at some point here? Uh, Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if they got that much trust in me to put the ball in the air yet. Do you have trust in you? Oh, for sure. Uh, I think everybody do. I'm a playmaker, so we got to find something to do. Wait, I love that you don't want to play running back. I'm going to send this to Christian McCaffrey immediately. Yes, please. <laughs> I thought maybe you called him and got some pointers or something. No, Christian, no. I think, I, I think I'd think i be a better running back than Christian. Ooh. Okay, okay don't, don't put that out, though. <laughs> <laughs> we might. We might not. We'll see how the rest of this interview goes. If you give me other good gems, then we won't put it out there. You know, it speaks to the creativity of Luke Getze. How creative is he? It's creative. You know, they all come in on, on Tuesday and uh, put the game plan together. And then last week they put that uh, run in. I was I was surprised because we haven't done anything like that since. But uh, now that we're doing it, I shoot, I'm waiting to see some more creative stuff come out of it. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. I want to throw the ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. I don't know. You might be foreshadowing something. So I, I can't wait to see and Miles Garrett eats your heart out. I can't wait for this game this weekend. You're, yeah, that's insane. Hey, uh, how many quarterbacks have thrown you the ball in your six-year career? Ooh, Starting quarterbacks. Question. Starting quarterbacks? Yeah. Let's Same. name them. Uh, you got Cam, PJ, Sam Darnold, Baker, uh, Kyle Allen, Jacob Eason. Oh, is he one of them? Jake. Okay, got it. Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke. Justin. It's, it's another one from Carolina. Tyson. Tyson. But it's, it's one more from Carolina. Will Greer. Yeah. Will. Taylor Heineke? Did we get Taylor Heineke? Yeah, we got Taylor and Will. Oh, Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy. So Look. 11. It's, yeah, 11. 11 different quarterbacks are throwing you the ball, and you just, like, like you somehow are the stabilizing force that just does his thing out there. But there is something different about what's going on in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You 
have a connection with Justin, with the experience that you have playing with all those different quarterbacks we just mentioned, what sets Justin Fields apart? Uh, I'm just being a dynamic playmaker. You know, when he runs, he still looks to pass downfield. Uh, I look to get open downfield on a scramble drill with him. But uh, just his faith that in me, uh, the connection is really based off of faith. You know, we got here and then we just started connecting on, off the field and on the field. So it's really just faith balls and I'm just going out there and making a play for him uh, whenever it's needed. I like that the vibes are a little higher. Y'all have a lot of work to do. I, You know, a lot of people are doubting Justin Fields, and I loved that you came out and said, it's a question that Justin Fields might not be my quarterback next year. Why is that surprising to you? What do you see in him? Uh, a lot of growth. You know, from the day I got here, it, it, it's been a question of is, is, is he can if he can do more than just run. And he's proved that uh, over and over again, the weekend, week out, uh, with the numbers that he put up. So I'm, I'm proud of him. Um, you got the Browns this week. Mm-hmm. You faced Denzel Ward last year and, yeah. of course, in college. What do you make of this matchup? Uh, it's one of the better ones in the league. You know, uh, I went against him. I went against him last year. We had a pretty good matchup. So this year I'm looking to see the same thing and uh, hope he's healthy. Is he a talker out there or what? No, I haven't heard him talk before. I know some of the people around him talk, but not him. Not him. Okay. What? Hell, what? Hell, what? Name names. Yeah. Name name names. Tell us who's. Tell us. Uh, who's nah, I'm cool. I'm not gonna name names. I don't want to give them no uh, no ammo. No, of course. It feels like uh, I'm. I have not been to Chicago in a minute. You know, I'm from there. What has the vibe changed? Have you noticed a, a difference in how the Chicago fans are reacting? I mean, at one point this game, this is a team that's two and seven, and now you're a game back. Oh, you could definitely feel it. Uh, they at first they was booing in the stadium. Now they're cheering, and it's just crazy. You know, fans see you on, on in the store. They they give you mad love and everything. So the the fans have came around. I love to hear that. And you're getting the ball a lot, and you're going to throw a touchdown. And I'm just very <laughs> excited, DJ. You know, you're one of my faves. I'm happy for you and your success. And uh, go take it to the Browns. Take it week by week. Enjoy your Christmas and New Year's, and then we'll see you in the playoffs. Yes, thank you, especially that uh, Week 18 game. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe right here. Do it now for the latest from Up and Adam.